Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this Monday, the 11th of May. As you can see, we have moved back into the church. Sadly, we cannot yet gather physically, but <clears throat> this is at least a stepping stone. But a few moments of stillness before we begin our morning prayer. Morning prayer begins on page three of the prayer booklet. We meet in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Faithful one, whose word is life, come with saving power to free our praise, inspire our prayer, and shape our lives for the kingdom of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, long suffering and of great goodness, I confess to you. I confess with my whole heart my neglect and forgetfulness of your commandments, my wrongdoing, thinking and speaking, the hurt I have done to others, and the good I have left undone. O oh God, forgive me, for I have sinned against you, and raise me to newness of life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear now the words of Jesus for all who are truly sorry and seek to renew their lives. Your sins are forgiven. Go in peace. Come and follow me. Blessed are you, sovereign God, a creator of all, to you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the, and the heavens are the work of your hands. In the fullness of time you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence amongst us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your Spirit ever renew our lives, and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Our psalm for this morning is Psalm 145. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. I would exalt you, O God, my King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and you will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is beyond all searching out. One generation shall praise your works to another and declare your mighty acts. They shall speak of the majesty of your glory. I will tell of all the, your wonderful deeds. They shall speak of the might of your marvellous acts, and I will also tell of your greatness. They shall pour forth the story of your abundant kindness and joyful singing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, long-suffering and of great goodness. The Lord is loving to everyone, and his mercy is over all his creatures. All your works praise you, O Lord, and your faithful servants bless you. They tell the work of your kingdom and the power of your might, and speak of your mighty power. To make known to all people your mighty acts and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your dominion endures throughout all the ages. The Lord is sure in all his words, and faithful in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all those who fall, and lifts up those who are bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you will give them their food in due season. You open wide your hands, and fill all things living with plenty. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and is loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over those who love him, but all the wicked shall he destroy. My mouth shall speak of the praise of the Lord, and let all flesh bless his holy name for ever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Great is the Lord, and highly do praise. Our Old Testament reading comes from the book of Numbers, chapter 9, verses 15 to the end of the chapter, and chapter 10, verses 33 to the end of the chapter. On the day the tabernacle was set up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, the tent of the covenant, and from the evening until morning was over the tabernacle, having the appearance of fire. It was also so, it was always so. The cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night. Whenever the cloud lifted from over the tent, then the Israelites would set out, and in the place where the cloud settled down, there the Israelites would camp. 
At the command of the Lord, the Israelites would set out, and at the command of the Lord, they would camp. As long as the cloud rested over the tabernacle, they would remain in camp. Even when the cloud continued over the tabernacle for many days, the Israelites would keep the charge of the Lord and would not set out. Sometimes the cloud would remain for a few days over the tabernacle, and according to the command of the Lord, they would remain in camp. Then, according to the command of the Lord, they would set out. Sometimes the cloud would remain from evening until morning, and when the cloud lifted in the morning, they would set out. Or if it continued for a day and a night, when the cloud lifted, they would set out. Whether it was two days or a month or a longer time that the cloud continued over the tabernacle, resting upon it, the Israelites would remain in camp and would not set out. But when it lifted, they would set out. At the command of the Lord, they would camp, and at the command of the Lord, they would set out. They kept the charge of the Lord at the command of the Lord by the Moses. So they set out from the mount of the, of the Lord on the three-day journey with the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord going before them for three days' journey to seek out a resting place for them. The cloud of the Lord being over them by day when they set out from camp. Whenever the Ark set out, Moses would say, Arise, O Lord, let your enemies be scattered and your foes flee before you. And whenever it came to rest, they would say, he would say, Return, O Lord, of the ten thousand thousands of Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Our New Testament reading is a continuation of Luke's Gospel. Chapter 4, verses 39 to the end of the chapter. After leaving the synagogue, he enters Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him about her. Then he stood over her and rebuked the, fe the fever, and it left her. Immediately she got up again and began to serve them. As the sun was settling, all those who had any who were sick with various kinds of disease brought them to him, and he laid hands on each of them and cured them. Demons also came out of many, shouting, You are the Son of God! But he rebuked them, and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Messiah. At daybreak he departed and went into, the, into a deserted place, and the crowd were looking for him. And when they reached him, they wanted to prevent him from leaving them. But he said to them, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to other cities also, for I was sent for this purpose. So he continued proclaiming the message in the synagogues of Judea. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So let's continue with our canticle. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his uh, holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. So let us come and pro proclaim our faith and the faith of the whole church in the words of the Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, 
who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that lies ahead of us. We pray for all the opportunities you present to us, all the obstacles which we will overcome, and all the times when we will be able to show your love to others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who are being affected by the coronavirus, those who are in self-isolation, those who are in quarantine, those who are shielding, those who are in hospital, and those who have died. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for and give thanks for the work of the NHS, the doctors, nurses, carers, scientists, staff, all those who are helping others. We pray especially for those who are trialling the vaccine in Oxford. Lord, send your Holy Spirit and give wisdom and guidance to all those who are taking this test. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all who are anxious and fearful at this time. For those who are uncertain as to the way forward. For those who are uncertain clear as to how we should proceed. We pray for all those who are worried about leaving their homes, for those who are anxious to get back to normal. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our schools and for all the pupils as they enter another week of homeschool. We pray for all those who are helping the, them to learn. We pray for the parents and carers of the children as they try to juggle being both a carer and a teacher. Mm -hmm. We pray for those who are producing lessons, for those who are giving guidance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Father, as we begin Christian Aid Week, we pray for those who are working for this wonderful organisation, for all those who are supporting it, for their good works that they do around the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray especially for those who are reaching the end of their lives, for those who are separated from their families as they are reaching the end for those who are longing to see their loved ones. We pray too for all those who have died and for those who carry the scars of loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Sovereign God, the defence of those who trust in you and the strength of those who suffer, look with mercy on our affliction and deliver us through our mighty Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In darkness and in light, in trouble and in joy, help us, Heavenly Father, to trust your love, to serve your purpose, and to praise your name, mm -hmm. through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. From the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with all who pray in his holy name now and forevermore. Amen. Please do join me this evening at 5pm for evening prayer. And until we can see each other again, God bless, stay safe.